The Pink Diamond by Critton Aria. Until that fateful night, she was a timid girl, naive to the darker side of the world. Ever since her untimely birth, she had always known that she was different. Other people sensed it too, and made it a point to stay away from her. She had always been shunned by society, so she taught herself to play alone and avoid the company of other human beings. This is how she first came to know of the castle. It was an imposing sight, the type where you would imagine a terrible tragedy had happened. The first day she looked upon those grey castle walls, dripping with mold and damp, she could almost hear tortured souls shrieking in agony. That night was no different. The moon was barely showing above the clouds. A small sliver of moonlight was lighting the well-worn path before her feet. She lightly stepped around the moss-covered boulder on the ground and gasped as she caught sight of the castle for the first time in two weeks. The castle was ablaze with lights. Through the eerie howl of the wind, she could barely make out a chorus of voices. This particular castle had been abandoned for more than a hundred years. Ever since the lord of the manor was found dead with a massive pink diamond in his hand. As she reached the house, she had the sudden urge to ring the big brass knocker. Without pausing to think, her hand grasped the knocker, seem seemingly of its own accord, and a large, deep boom rang across the grounds. Suddenly, the voices stopped talking. All of the lights in the house went off at once, and the door slowly swung open on its rusty hinges. Alarmed, she slowly stepped inside. The moment she crossed the threshold, a low, eerie moan started throughout the castle. She frantically scoured the castle with her eyes, searching in vain for the source of the sound. It seemed to be all around her. Behind her, the door swung shut with a bang. She decided to search for the source of the moan. But, as she traveled farther into the depths of the castle, the noise only grew in intensity. The long, narrow passageway she was traveling along suddenly ended at a small, unadorned wooden door. As she raised her hand to the doorknob, the moan suddenly turned to an ear-splitting howl. <coughs> Alarmed, she flung the door open to be met with a pink glow. In the midst of this glow was an unusually large pink diamond. Suddenly, a thought struck her. Didn't the lord of the manor have a pink diamond in his hand when he died? Ignoring the terrible stories and rumors about the pink diamond that leapt unbidden to her mind, she let herself be mesmerized by the diamond. Entranced, she slowly reached her hand to grasp the diamond. Behind her, the noise escalated. <laughs>